Welcome back to Google Guru. Today I'm going to walk you through a simple mail merge using Google Forms and Spreadsheets. Google actually provides this tutorial on their developers page, so you should be able to find the link below this video if you wanted to walk through this tutorial on your own after watching this. So this tutorial is going to provide you with a customizable Google Form that you can email to as many people as you would like. And after they've filled out the form, that information will then appear in this spreadsheet right here. And then using the script provided by Google, it will generate a personalized email response to everyone that fills out the form. So you can use this for surveys or as just a tool to gather information from within your organization. But either way, it's really easy. And it's kind of a fun way to explore using Mail Merge and Google Script. So I'm going to get started here by opening up the form that Google has provided and adding it to fit my preferences. So I'm going to go to Form, then Edit Form. As you can see, it's pretty standard right here. There's three fields, first name, last name, and email address. From here, I can add or delete as many fields as I want by using this feature right here, Add Item. So I'm just going to add one more field and title it Department. And I'm going to also make this a required question. So after I've made all the necessary changes, I'm going to save this form and then close out of that for a moment. And we're going to we're going to actually get to revisit this a little bit later. So now when we revisit this spreadsheet, we'll see that there's actually five columns now, including department, which we just added in the form. So now we're going to take a look at the personalized response email, which is found in this sheet down here in the second portion of this Google spreadsheet. As you can see, the script that Google has created pulls information from the spreadsheet and inputs it into this form to create those email responses. So I'm going to add just a little bit more information to personalize this to fit my preferences. I'm just going to add department down here below email address. And you're going to make sure you follow the same form that I've written right here so it follows the script and distributes the information correctly from the spreadsheet. So after making the changes to the form, we're going to take a look at script that Google has provided. So we're going to go to Tools and Script Editor. And we're just going to make a few small changes in here. There's really only a couple things that I'm going to ask you to focus on right here. In this row right here, you'll notice max rows over here. This actually designates how many rows of information get pulled from the form. So since we've actually added one more, we're going to change a 4 to a 5 to include departments. And down here, you can see where it says email subject. This will actually determine what the subject of the email is that gets sent out as a response to the form. So I'm going to change that to test, just because I'm, I'm just testing this out to myself for right now. After that, we're going to click on send emails, and then we're going to save. After making those changes, I'm going to go back to the form go to send form and I'm just going to send it to myself for right now just to run a test and I'm going to send that and after filling out the form I'm going to revisit the initial portion of the spreadsheet and see that all the values have actually been filled up once I'm satisfied with this I'm going to go back to the Google script and then press this button to run the script I'm going to authorize that and then run it again this will actually distribute the emails with the new personalized content and if you take a look here, you can see you can see the personalized email that's been generated. This is great for responding to a large group of people at one time. I just really wanted to show you how it works, so it was only to one person, but it's great when you would like to respond to a large group of people. So that's just a quick look into, into a simple mail merge. As I mentioned before, you should be able to find the link to this tutorial below the video. And I think it's a very useful introduction to mail merge, as well as Google Scripts. So. If you want to learn more about that, you should definitely check out that tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and as always, leave us a message in the comments section if you have any questions or ideas for new videos. Thanks.